Tonight's referee is Gus McLeod. Gus is only one of the many officials needed to run a meeting at Shieldfield. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome once again to Shieldfield Park. Apologies, we have one or two hiccups on our PA system. We'll try and uh, get through for you. How important is the testing of the fuel at each meet? Well, I would say it's very, very important. Uh, obviously, it eliminates any cheating between riders. Uh, I would say that if, if riders were likely to be putting any additives into their fuel, it would show up in this test, so they would be getting, a, getting an advantage. Is testing compulsory and do any riders object? I would say no. Nah, it, it is compulsory. It's compulsory throughout the country. Uh, I wouldn't say it was compulsory in the continent, but it is compulsory in the UK. And no, nah, you never, you never get, ever get any problems. The season is now underway and already there are rumblings in the camp. Things aren't going well and Berwick have already lost 41 to 49 at home to Reading. The only riders showing any promise at the moment are new signing Rennie Madsen and Peter Scully. try and define between uh, white fuel and the compulsory yellow fuel that they're using now. And I put this special dye in and it turns pink. If it, if, if all the, if it doesn't turn it as pink as what this is, then there's something wrong. Then we've got another, another, another test, test to carry today. out as well. Aye. Jorg Pingle hasn't yet found the form he had last season. And David Meldrum is still trying to get his bike and engine combination right.
Oh, I think it's really great. I think the riders will take a little bit of time to get used to it, and they're a bit short of match uh, practice, obviously, having not had a race for, for three weeks. But now we're back, I'm sure they'll do very well. I think it might take them a little while to, to bed in, but I think we'll see particularly the likes of, of Jorg Pingle really thriving on that third and fourth bend and really going right the way around the outside towards the, the chequered flag. I think they'll really enjoy it. Right, who's your favourite rider, or have you got one? Oh, I think that would be very unfair. As the, as the centre green presenter, all of them are favourites, absolutely. But I do like exciting Speedway, and I think they're all exciting in Radio Borders Banders. I've got to say that because I work for Radio Borders. <laughs> There are a lot of tumbles on the night. David Meldrum takes a fall. One rider discovers how hot his silencer gets. Hugh asks, what happened?
almost four hundred litres of radial borders bandits yellow are used on the fence billy gary gareth alf and peter spend two days slapping it on <laughs> Win the league this year. <laughs> and then it lads. You win the league. Maybe we'll see something in the league. We'll be because I've got my money on it. Aye. When you put your report in, just don't say many volunteers, say a few volunteers. Meanwhile, work is progressing in the rider's shower block. Gene Foster wheels a paintbrush, urged on by Dougie Logan. <laughs> faster, faster. Hi. I'm going for chips. You want some chips? I'll okay. uh, get you see Johnny. <laughs> and that's the fence finished. I was not bought a bit like under yet. Bought it for the coming to the graders, you know. Ah. So bought here. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> How's that then? <laughs> Come on, half, we're finished. 